to the channel if you've been watching the last couple of videos um, welcome back and thank you for coming back uh, really means a lot actually if you haven't already please like and subscribe the, to the channel but today I thought what I'll do is I'll go through one of my DJ bags I've not been through for a little while so I was gonna go just go through it randomly but then I thought oh, no, let me just film it um, and then so yeah we'll see what happens as I said, I'm not open this bag um, since probably the last gig that it was used on. So this is one of three and a half cable bags and I'm sure a lot of you've got loads of cable bags. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so first up out the bag, you already know, gaffer tape. This is DJ's friend, lifesaver, everything. And if you're a DJ or, you know what, if you're a, DJ, any, if you're a DJ, you're um, a musician, anything really, you know gaffer tape, you know this gaffer tape is going to be your friend. This isn't your ordinary traditional gaffer tape though, this is a mag tape. So basically the difference between this and the ordinary gaffer tape is this doesn't leave the residue that usual, that normal gaffer tape uh, leaves. So that's the reason why I've got this. It's better than the uh, normal gaffer tape you get. As I say, it doesn't leave the residue on there. So you're not there taking the gaffer tape off and then you've got a sticky residue on your cables. So this eliminates all of that. So I highly recommend getting some mag tape, all right? Cool, that's number one. Okay, next up, let's have a look what we got here. See, they're messy. Now, I know a lot of you are probably screaming at the screen right now, going, oh my God, why are you, you know, you're probably not doing that, but you know, same thing. <laughs> anyway, they're not that messy. They're just not tied up, if that makes sense. So what I've got here is some nice quality signal cables here, power and signal cable. So this is power and DMX cable in one. This is really awesome cable. This is the Van Dam version. So those of you that know Van Dam um, cables, we're not talking about John Claude Van Dam. Those that know about cables, you know Van Dam is high, high, high quality cables. And um, these cost me a lot of money. And um, it's got the braiding um, for the DMX cable as well. So these are really good. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of a close up here so we've got power cable and DMX cable all in one we've got the uh, 13 amp and the DMX cable on the other side so that's what I um yeah that's what I use for my speakers so these are my speaker ones obviously I've got a couple of those Put the two of those to the side I'll tidy these up in a minute uh, next up yeah pretty standard really again I got this one done myself uh, as you can see on this one I've used the old the old gaffer tape so it's stuck on there so I'll get that off in a minute so this is one two three four five six way and I've got this made up by the same people that made these cables here um, I'm gonna link him in the description for you anyway so don't worry too much about that so you already know you need these in your life another cable again most most of my cables are all custom made and they're all custom made from the same person and these are powercon and dmx in one so powercon dmx one side and then 13 amp to dmx 
So these are amazing cables. Here we go. Look, here you go. One of the little bit of focus. There we go. Yep. So these are all in one cable. Awesome. Got to be done. So I've got a couple of those. Those are for light fixtures. So what I'll do is I'll do a little video soon, um, just explaining how these kind of work. So I've got a couple of them in that bag. DMX cables. You already know, we need the DMX cables, some power cables, ah yes, these bad boys, cable ties or zip ties, whatever you want to call them, these are a bit of, pretty much of a lifesaver, I do use these to go down the speaker poles sometimes as well, these are really cool, you've got to have some, um, some cable ties in the bag, I go through loads of these, so these are very very handy to have, so I definitely recommend having some cable ties in your bag for sure. Next up, now this one isn't very essential really and truly, it's just something I like to have in my bag, just for peace of mind for myself, and it's a Martindale uh, plug tester. Have a little look at the... There we go. Martindale plug tester. Now this just tests a couple of things with the plug really. Live neutral, no earth, neutral fault, live earth, reverse. So it tests the plug whether it's been um, connected properly whether there's been no earth or anything like that so it's just a little peace of mind where you can just go there and be like right I'm testing that plug it goes hand in hand really because with all your pat testing stuff and your insurance and your liability stuff as well so you can just go to a venue rock up there and just go right I'm plugging that in right boom that plug socket don't work it's 40 oh how do you know well my tester tells me so so I can't use it. So it just makes you, I think personally, it makes you look a little bit more professional. A lot of people do not use this, a lot of people. I just use it because, as I said, it's peace of mind for myself. Next up, what we got here? We've got a sound level meter. Now, again, this is another thing that isn't really essential. I've got this because a client asks me to keep the levels at a certain decibel or below a certain decibel. And there was no limit are installed in this um, venue, but they've asked, they have asked me particularly, specifically, shall I say, um, to keep it below a certain decibel. So literally I had this and then I'd, every so often I'd just go to the back of the room, I'll just check the sound level, make sure that I'm below the level that's been asked of me and then I go back behind the decks and DJ. So I literally monitor every so often, every like say 15, maybe even 20 minutes or so, I quickly go and have a little monitor, make sure that everything's okay. Once you've set the limit, uh, the mixer really and truly and you concentrate on your mixer level, generally you're not gonna go past that level that you set it at anyway. So, but it's good practice just to go out every so often if a customer or client requires it then it just makes you look a little bit professional. They, they're looking at you and they'll be like, all oh, right, this guy's serious. He's doing his job, man. He's doing what I'm paying him to do. So again, another thing that I just think, might as well just have it. These are really cheap and you can pick these up off Amazon, eBay for really cheap anyway. So I'll link it all in the description anyway. So we've just got loads of DMX cables in here. Um, all curled up nicely. I say nicely, but uh, they're there anyway. So loads of extension leads. I've got some standard ones as well. I need to get some more um, custom made ones. So yeah, more extension leads. Yeah, more extension leads. That's pretty much it really. Loads of DMX cables and extension leads. That's all I need, really need for a standard gig. We're talking about not a wedding. This one's for more of a party um, gig if I'm gonna do a wedding there'll probably be a few more cables because we're adding more light into a wedding But it's not gonna be much much more than that to be honest with you It's just gonna be a few more extra cables but as I say that's one of three bags that I've got One of three and a half actually I say uh, we ain't even going through the plant. What's in here? Oh, there's nothing in there Yeah, that's pretty much it. I actually need a new cable bag So if anyone's watching and wants to send me a cable bag hit me up. Let me know so yeah, that's pretty much it really, pretty standard. As I said, I was gonna go through them anyway, but I thought why not just go through it with you guys just so I can show you what's in my DJ bag and the sort of stuff I use. These custom made cables, I'm gonna put in the description to the guy that does these. So if you do get some of these um, cables from him, just say Daryl sent you, D-A-R-R-E-L-L. -R -R -E -L. Say Daryl from DJ TV sent you, 
and hopefully he should like he should look after you but yeah i'm going to link that in the description for you so again thanks for watching it's just a little quick video because as i say i was going to go through my cables anyway i'll go for it with you guys and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe turn on the bell for the notifications and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching